Hi, Dion from Evolution Support Services here, and welcome to this EFT tapping on transforming knowledge into action. One of the things that Evolution Support Services offers is support work to people experiencing mental health and disabilities. And as part of that, I regularly have to do uh, first aid or CPR training, which I'm due for, which means that I have to put the knowledge, the theoretical knowledge that I have of CPR and put that into practical action by demonstrating that I can actually do CPR and get certified so I can continue to help people with these uh, conditions. So that said, in our own self-help journey, we can acquire knowledge, but knowledge acquired is simply knowledge not actioned. So let's have a look at what might be stopping some of that actioning of the self-help and self-care. So taking full responsibility for our own well-being, let's do an EFT tapping on transforming knowledge into action. And repeating after me. Even though. I've set upon my journey. And I want to get a better awareness of myself. Or a better understanding of myself. And how to better help myself. So I'm here to help myself. And there might be a lot of self-help information that might not apply to me. And I choose to love, honor, and accept myself, even though this awareness of self, this helping of self, there are people out there who may have gone through similar journeys and have had similar experiences but are still different to this awareness of self. And some of what does help may have helped them, but it may not help me. And I choose to love, honour and accept myself. Even though there may be some resistance to actioning some of this knowledge that I have acquired to help myself. And I'm curious about that. The same way that I'm curious about getting a better understanding of self so I can feel better about myself. And I choose to love, honor, and accept myself. All this helping of self, all this self-help, there's so much knowledge to digest, so much to consume. There's a lot of steps out there that I'm told that I have to take in order to get better, in order to get a better sense of self, to be more successful, to be getting up at 5am in the morning, to be more productive, to lose weight, to gain weight, to find that dream person to fulfill my needs. Whatever it is for me, there's a lot of knowledge out there that I'm helping myself with. I'm really helping myself. Because there's parts of myself that I want to improve. And all the self-improvement is improving the self. Because there is something about myself that I want to help. Like seeing someone fallen on the road. I'm aware that they need some assistance. And the tools that I have at the moment 
may not be able to preserve a better quality of life. And I want to learn these tools so I'm going to have a better quality of life for myself. And a part of my experiences are my own experiences. Many people have gone through similar experiences and how they reacted may not have been how I react. And if I look at a point of success from the position that I am now, sometimes that can create a feeling of lack, of I'm not there yet. Like seeing a, pa a, a portrait and wanting to draw. And I pick out that pen. In my first attempt, I might put that on that pen and never pick up that pen again. Because the distance between me, myself, and the master was a great divide. And there might be some awareness of the time and effort it took to draw that portrait, to make it look effortless, like anyone could do it, until I tried to do it, and I decided never to do it again. I felt frustrated and I felt let down and the weights that I lifted didn't give me that perfect body straight away and of how others would perceive me if I had that dream body and I get frustrated by that and all these goals that I set, there might be some that I walk away from. All these best intentions for my life that I truly wanted, that I followed all these steps by, I didn't get the exact same results of a completely different person. And when I gain awareness of this, the success, the success that I can have will be successful for me. There are many people drawing pictures and then there are many perceptions of what art is. Should I just never put it, pick up the pen again? Or is there a part of my personal expression my personal flair that attract others and what they desire and is by working on myself by applying some of these tips these life hacks these steps that I have to perpetually climb just another way of getting to know myself. And I can read many books. I can watch many videos about other people's success. I can watch many YouTube videos about people building their dream house and feel a sense of accomplishment even, by, even though I might not live in that dream. And there is some motivation that I have where I do feel motivated. But I'm motivating myself away from what I need to do. And I might need to consume a little bit more knowledge and watch a few more videos 
and read a few more books. But it takes me further away from my own dream life and what I want for myself. And I might really overthink sometimes about what I want in my life. What do I deserve? And what do I want? And I might absorb more knowledge to make the best possible choice for myself. Because I want the best for myself. And the more knowledge that I consume, the less action I take. Until I'm in a cycle of an analysis paralysis. And when I look at what's stopping me from taking this action, from the things that I desire in my life, I have to think about the question that I ask myself and how I feel about that. What do I want in my life? What do I feel is best for myself? Where do I see myself? And when I envision this, my thoughts are not separate to my feelings. And how I think about myself, I do feel about myself. And how I feel about myself, I sometimes think about myself. And sometimes I have good thoughts and I feel good. And sometimes when I feel bad, I think bad thoughts about myself. So when I envision the dream life of what I want, there are some feelings attached to this. So I do want the better of myself and the self-help that is helping me feel a little bit better about myself. And the thing that is desiring is a thing that is seeking action. And in between these feelings of knowing and feeling and feeling and actioning, maybe some other feelings, that I might be motivating myself away from. And if I've gained awareness, and I keep returning to the knowledge source, is it awareness that I'm seeking? Or is it assurance? Because if I know what I'm dealing with, I might want to action the steps to move inwards. And start to be with some of these feelings that are blocking me from my life or that I deserve. And I do deserve the best for myself. And there are some feelings still that might not come from a book or even from another person. Because the help that I'm seeking is from the self. And there are some self-truths that I might feel, that I might look away from, that I might not, I might say, nah, -uh. this ain't true. That can't be me. And when I gently look within, and start to address some of these feelings. I might say, aha. Some of the stuff that is blocking me from my future might be stuff from my past. Of how I think of myself that I'm trying to better. And I might be wanting to think better of myself because things in my past led me to believe 
and led me to demotivate myself from blocking me from my future. And I might have had the answers the whole time. There were just parts of myself that I didn't want to listen to. And I reasoned away. And I found other reasons for. And when I reflect inwards on this, there are some blind spots that I have that are beyond my rational self. That might be unconscious actions, some unconscious programming that operate my present moment, blocking me from my future self. And I might be wanting to get better at handling some of these negative emotions. To viewing these negative emotions in a new light. To knowing that they're not so negative. They definitely don't feel good to have. But that's where the gold lies. Because if I can address what's holding me back, I can have an abundant future. It's hard to run a race when you've got an iron ball around your leg. So I might unpack some of this baggage and sort out what's going on in my life and address some things that are automatic behaviors from subconscious actions beyond my rational mind. And this aha moment may lead to other moments where I get a better sense of self. Where I start to say, aha. So if I was thinking about myself in derogative ways, it's really going to be hard to motivate myself. Like waking up at night and berating yourself because now you will get tired and it's really hard to get to sleep when someone's yelling at you from the inside. But if I can gently go at myself and teach myself new ways, then I can feel better about myself. And if I'm following my future of my feelings, of what I feel is good for myself, then I want to be a pupil that's following a kind teacher, that's teaching myself new ways of being. And there is a lot of good advice out there, but I'm doing what's best for myself which might not be taking strict advice, but taking the knowledge from it and adapting in a way that works for me, for myself, and what helps me better. I might not be a 5 a.m. person. I might be a 12 p.m. person, and I still achieve success whatever that is for me. And I'm a pretty smart cookie. And I'm doing what's in my best interest to better know of myself. And to get a better awareness of self. And I'm being here for myself. In body, mind and spirit. And taking a full breath in. And knowing that you have the power within you to action that knowledge and hopefully EFT tapping will help you clear the blocks, clear the fear, clear whatever is there 
to get towards your betterment of self because you deserve a betterment of self and the only person that knows oneself is yourself and there are many people doing EFT tapping, there are many people singing, there are many people doing many different things in life, but it lacks the personalization of yourself. So getting to know yourself is going to put your, your flair, your spice on it. So moving towards actioning some of that beautiful knowledge that you have and experiences that you have, because I think we all deserve it. So I'm Dion from Eflotion Support Services, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.